I've been doing some mods to a uh, small little, I don't know how you say this, turn this down, Leapi little Class T Tripath amp, uh, these are $20 at um, Parts Express, and um, been reading up on all the mods you can do to them, <clears throat> and I had already done, you can see here, um, the tone control and volume bypass, um, which you bypass right here. And you're not gonna be able to see it, but um, look it up online. There's uh, a couple caps. You just pull and then uh, take the positive side, run it into the cap, and then run it into some resistors in the back over here. And I'm just using the stock caps right now. I've got uh, audio quality caps on the way, which will replace those. <coughs> And that made a huge difference. That did a few things. It takes the op amps out of the circuit, um, which helps with the power on pop noise. Um, you can see I've got Klipsch La Scala's, and they're super sensitive. Um, <clears throat> when I would turn it on, it would just about blow the tweeters right out. Um, now there's hardly any pop at all. So what this this bypass mod with these wires um, takes those op amps out completely. It d eliminates the tone controls and the volume control. Makes it a true mono block. <clears throat> well, it's not a monoblock, it's a dual monoblock. Um, but anyway, the big problem was there wasn't enough bass. It was uh, dropping off like around 100 hertz, and it was just not having any bottom end. So more research, and uh, found that there was a 3300 microfarad um, power cap that was being used. And after some research, I found people were uh, swapping that out. Um, and I've seen numbers of 4,700 and things like that. Well, I had an old Sony receiver that I tore apart, um, probably 30 years old, and it had a couple 10,000 microfarad caps in it. So we threw that guy on, and this is just a temporary setup right now just to test it. But as you'll hear in a moment, I'll turn this up. We have no lack of bass. I don't want to overpower the camera. I'll turn this down a little bit. But the bass is nice and solid. I don't know if this little speaker can pick it up, but I've got full range now. Um, almost too much bass, actually. Um, I'm actually running a Behringer um, DEQ uh, 2496 that I'm doing all my room tuning with. Um, and I'll probably do a video about that later, but um, anyway, I've got the room tuned and optimized and my bass punched up, so I'm getting tons of bass now. Um, so, um, the other thing you need to replace is, see if I can show you without blowing myself up while this is playing, there's four inductors, you're not going to be able to see it here, because that blue LED is, there we go, right there, there, and then the two more over there. Um, you replace those with Ferroid Core 10 Micro Henry. 3 amp inductors. You can get them on eBay um, and replace those and it's supposed to clean up the base also. So once I have my tone caps or my input coupling caps in, those inductors, this modified power cap, this little amp is going to be amazing. So anyway, there you go.